Thomas Alpha Edison Often depicted as the inventor of the light bulb was neither the first nor the only person to invent light bulbs at the time. In 1879, on the 4th of November, Edison filed a patent, but it wasn't until several months after this that he finally discovered the duration of the carbonized bamboo filament. Prior to this time, there were actually many different types of light bulbs being experimented with, as well as something known as an arc lamp, which was simply a light bulb with no bulb. Before Edison, many other scientists had already discovered ways to make a light bulb, but most of these were either too expensive or impractical for day-to-day -day use. Later, in the 1870s, better vacuums were invented to rid the bulbs of air, so they would work longer and thus be more practical. This week on Future 5, we talk about four of the inventions in lighting throughout time that have changed our world, and one more that has only recently been discovered. Number 1. The Carbonized Bamboo Filament In 1878, Edison began his serious research and you could say his path towards success. Edison filed a patent on October 14th, describing several methods of creating a carbon filament using cotton, thread, twisted wire and many different materials. This patent protected him from anyone else trying to sweep in and steal the glory for themselves. After discovering carbonized bamboo could burn for over 1200 hours, this led to the new invention becoming commercial. It wasn't very long after this when Edison started an electric company that marketed its own products. Number 2. The Tungsten Filament Tungsten is currently one of the strongest metals known to man. The astounding temperatures that are required to melt it make it perfect for light bulbs. Thomas Edison himself had said tungsten would be the most successful material for the light bulb, but unfortunately the machinery at his time was incapable of working with it, which isn't surprising as its melting point is around 3422 degrees Celsius or 6191 degrees Fahrenheit. In 1906 the General Electric Company were the first to patent this method for making the tungsten filaments. Number 3. The original light bulb. Most people don't even know that light bulbs were well established by the time Edison was even born. In fact, the exact type of light bulb Edison is given so much credit for inventing was invented well before he attempted. The things Thomas Edison should actually be given credit for are the material he used for his filament, as well as marketing the product to the masses. But before electricity had become standard, the norm was gas lines. Gas lines were run under the houses in bigger cities. The gas was pumped into lamps and lighting fixtures and provided light very much the same way as xenon and gas lights do today. The difference in these fixtures was needing constant replenishment of the gas and the heat source which is provided by your electric socket in today's bulbs. Even though electric bulbs seemed to take off, gas followed along the same path, staying close by. Gas bulbs aren't given credit today mainly because they are powered by electricity. But before you say Thomas Edison is the father of the light bulb, try to remember that many others took part in this discovery and deserve just as much credit. Number 4. CFL Lighting The compact fluorescent lamps are meant to be a replacement to the traditional light. These lights utilize much more of the heat energy that is lost in typical lighting and thus saves you much more money in electric costs, but also reduces the output of heat by a large amount. To put this into perspective, these curved lamps put out about the same amount of fireball light but use one-fifth of the electricity. Despite only recently hitting the shelves as a common item, the early predecessor to this invention was created back in the 1890s by Peter Cooper Hewitt. Peter originally used the lamps for photographic studios and industries. Number 5. White Lasers Not exactly a light bulb, but this means a lot for lighting in our electronics. Lasers have been used in many ways you might not directly think of when it comes to lights. Some of the most recent uses have been communication and computing, but for some time we've been able to use lasers for displays and burning. Recently, Arizona State University developed a new type of laser 
that changes the game a bit. Normally, lasers have to exist on a single wavelength. Green, blue and red are the common colors you'll find in lasers. This new type of laser has instead all three of the base colors, making it appear white, but also giving it the ability to create a huge spectrum of color for displays. This invention has been noted as one of the most important inventions in physics within the last decade. The implications to this are too many to name, but until the invention is perfect, we won't know exactly which will hit the market first. Liked our video? Then allow me to shed some light on the situation. You can now either watch another of our videos, subscribe and wait for the next one to come out, or just go on with your life. Good day.